Alright, so I've been asked how I do the fill light to get like a little bit the inner part, like whatever your subject is, to be a little bit brighter and stand out. So that's what we're going to do. It's really super easy. Um, so yeah, it'll be a quick, quick <laughs> clip. Here we go. So I had done an action just because the original is really dark. I mean, really, like, not a lot of contrast and stuff. Just so that you can see the difference between it, I ran the action. Anyway, so, but below the action, um, you're going to want to do a gradient. So down here, um, you want to go down next to the box. There's, like, a little half circle. Click on that and click on gradient. And originally what will come up is linear. And as you can see, like, if you reverse it, Gonna show it. This is popular to do with skies and stuff. And anyway, so since we want to do like a light fill on her, on on her face, we're gonna go over here instead of linear. We want to do radial, which will turn it into a circle. This is kind of how people use do the vignettes too, but that's not what we're doing right now. And for the light. I always do like a white because it kind of brightens it. It kind of is up to you as to what you, how you want to do it. So then the scale, we'll show you how big or how small. So you want to, I mean, you can play around with it and see like to exactly what you want to do. Obviously, we're going to be changing the opacity because you can't see her face. So I have the scale at 50% click OK and now you want to go over here to the opacity and bring it down and it's going to end up being pretty low and then if you want to change change it like you want it to be a little bit bigger you can double click on your layer right here and go back up and then that box will pop up again So that's at 80. Let's see how that looks. And then also, if you want to be able to move it around, let's say you, it, because it just anchors it in the middle. So let's say, like, you have some a subject standing up and you want it up here. You can double click on that again, left click, and then you can, there's the move tool will be on, and you can move it up to whatever you want. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. So, before and after. Um, you probably will end up keeping it below 20, like between probably 15 and 22 percent, but it's all about how much you want it to show up. You don't want it to be too strong, or else it'll look funny. So, I hope that helps.